Hmm. Better leave these where Mom won't see them. Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads.
Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! What is it? <laughs> it's of the dog we had growing up, Lady. Your Aunt August made it when she was a kid. My god. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about. The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. Uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. So dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? 
Yeah, I mean, people in the audience seem so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Grandpa Leo was a... An inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street? Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. We did our best, but the results were... Ugh.
I've got to take more pics with Francine this year. We're so cute. Maybe I should start carrying a camera around. Hmm. Who are these people? Mom's friends? Tropically fun and tropically sweet, it's tropical hippos you gotta eat. How was this? Was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah. Very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. How did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh, it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. Well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. What? No one bought this masterpiece? I'm downright offended. I made this when I was, what, four? At Frankenmuth. Yeah, at that pottery demonstration they did. They'd call little kids up from the audience and show them how to do it. I was, I was so excited. I was jumping up and down, waving my hand, because I knew that Grandma likes pots. She kept it up on this display shelf with all her other pieces all those years since you gave it to her. Oh, honey... It's okay. I... I, th 
think I'm gonna hold on to it. Grandma held on to it all this time. She wouldn't have wanted me to throw it away. Wow. A few pieces of pottery that my mom collected from around the world are still here. I'm surprised they didn't all sell. I think this one is from South America, not sure which country. And this one's Japanese. I've never even left the country. Why have we ever gone anywhere cool? Niagara Falls isn't cool. It isn't Japan. Well, it's a lot easier to drive to Niagara Falls than Japan. Cheaper, too. But wouldn't it be fun? Me and you, an intercontinental mother-daughter adventure? Maybe an intra-continental adventure. Hmm. I'm thinking of a certain place. Somewhere warm and southwestern. Somewhere where, say, my own father currently resides. <sighs> Listen, we've discussed this. We're not going to Nevada to visit Penn. It's not gonna happen. Well, what if I just went by myself? By yourself? No way. It's a bad idea. How come? <sighs> There's a bunch of reasons. Like... Like, I said so, and I'm your mother? <sighs> Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother... Well, <laughs> turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Is this... Some of the last pottery your grandmother made. Yep. After her fine motor skills started to go. It's so sad. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. Good, some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like the advice column? No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Did Grandma... Was she ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just seems so vivacious. You'd think some man would be interested. Yeah, no, not that I know of. Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. 
Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, <laughs> it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. <laughs> and for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. <laughs> Glad you approve. Want to know something? Your grandmother didn't write this. I did. You did? That's cool. Well, the circumstances weren't cool. N no, but... It was actually really hard. I needed a lot of help from her editor. But I got it done. I'm sure all her readers appreciated it. Yeah.
Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. I am the very model of a modern major general. La 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 da 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 mineral. What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August spoke be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Good point. Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling. No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <laughs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? Are you kidding? 
I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts around in spite of them being obviously not cool. No, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie Swingers. This explains so much. Like why you never once saw him actually bowl? Yes. Whoa. Grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. Definitely. I knew you would. Well, <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, I knew. I've always thought this was such a beautiful dress, and I'd always wanted to hand it down to you. Like your grandmother handed it down to me. Those sound like you reasons. Well, you just said you definitely want to wear it for your wedding, so I guess there are you reasons, too. <sighs> what? Mom, do you ever think that maybe sometimes I just say things I know you want me to say? So you don't want to wear the dress? I... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna get married. Well, I just... In the future, please don't patronize me. I don't want you to tell me something just because you think it's what I want to hear. You're better than that. Better than that? It's... I just... <sighs> If I don't say what you want me to say, you don't take no for an answer. So when I asked if you wanted your grandmother's wedding dress, you said yes, but you meant no. I understand. You were just telling me what I wanted to hear. You don't want the dress. I get it. <sighs> I mean... But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm, <sighs> yeah. There's a bunch of old stuff in here, but... Uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's... something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... in some kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Grandma's... diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- a And what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've gotta go check the whole place out. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great.